please welcome Rodrigo Baggio. So who is enjoying uh, We Share Fest? Raise your hand. Woohoo! It's an amazing event. It's my first time here. I really enjoy the invitation to be here and share uh, with you uh, some of my experience as a social entrepreneur. And as a social entrepreneur, I start to be a social entrepreneur when I was 12 years old and my father gave me the first personal computer in Brazil. And learning uh, uh, through technology, I learned how to code in, uh, and for me it was an amazing experience, just uh, coding the game with I would like to, uh, to play. And using that technology, I found my first passion in my life, uh, technology, computers. And when I was 12 years old, I started to work as a volunteer with street kids in Rio de Janeiro. And for me, it was a wonderful experience. I learned more things about life with these street kids than uh, in my school. Uh, uh, and for me, it was a great moment to connect with the second passion in my life, social work. So all of my adolescence, I continued working with technology. I started making my money when I wa was 14 years old. Uh, and uh, when I uh, went to the college, uh, I decided to study uh, social science, sociology, social uh, political science. And, but at that time, uh, Accenture invited me to work in as an artificial intelligence expert, and I leave, uh, drop out the college to start working Accenture, and then IBM, and then I create my own company, a technology company. So at the age of 23 years old, I had my apartment, my car, a small boat, but I was not happy. And when I tried to saw myself in 10 years, I just saw myself uh, richer, but not more uh, happier. And in 1993, uh, I decided to change my life. And I started to meditate uh, and think about the next big thing. And at the end of this year, I got the answer. And the answer comes through a dream, literally. I was sleeping and I had a dream. And in my dream, I saw young people using technology to understand more about their lives, uh, using that technology to understand more about their community, and use technology to change their lives and change their community. And another day, uh, I, when I wake up, I just jump from my bed, uh, energizing, and I made a personal commitment to uh, changing that dream in reality. And, you know, I'm, a, I'm not a Martin Luther King, but I had my own dream, and I decided to believe in this dream and do everything to change this dream in reality. And in 1995, I created the first technology school uh, in a low-income community in Rio de Janeiro, the most dangerous uh, slum in that time in Rio de Janeiro. And uh, we create a self-sustainable and self-managed technology community center where we teach in technology uh, and also civic engagement education. So we teach in solving social problems through the good use of technology. And it was really disruptive. So at, uh, uh, before that, 99% of people, when I talk about uh, this idea, talk with me, Rodrigo, you are crazy. Because poor people have the mind of poor people and they never will learn about technology. But when we uh, started these first technology community centers, I don't know how, but 11 newspapers, seven TVs, three radios, and two magazines was there. And people started to talk about a young visionary to have a great idea. So we need 24 hours to change uh, crazy people in a visionary. It's just prove the idea, right? And now, after 21 years, we have 564 of our CDI technology community centers in different countries in Latin America. We have been training over 1.64 million people in technology and solving social problems. And uh, six years ago, we start CDI, the Center for Digital Inclusion, in London. And uh, we start to adapt our methodology in the uh, neighborhood with the higher tax of homicides. And uh, we creating a, a new methodology ba based on our experience where we training kids in how to prototype and develop applications for a smartphone to do good. Uh, and we create CDI apps for good. And now, after six years, we have over 700 
public schools in England, Ireland, Scotland, Portugal, Spain, and Poland uh, implementing the CDI Apps for Good methodology. So in these 20, 21 years, we, we won over 70 international awards. So Time Magazine, Fortune, EUN, uh, uh, World Economic Forum, uh, uh, we was the first NGO to receive uh, the three biggest awards for social entrepreneurs in the world, Ashoka, Schwab Foundation, Skoll Foundation, uh, and the very first Google Global Impact Award. Uh, but for me, what's most important is see the power of technology to change lives and inspire people, be a change maker. Uh, how many of you uh, know this man? Raise your hand if you know this man. Who is this man? Bill Drayton. He, this man is a kind of Gandhi in our days in the planet. He invented 36 years ago uh, the field of social entrepreneur and in inventing the professional of social entrepreneurs. Bill creating Ashoka, a global organization to support social entrepreneurs, and now Ashoka have over 3,300 uh, social entrepreneurs as Ashoka Fellow selecting all of the world. And in a meeting with Bill in 2014 in Oxford, we start to brainstorming about the future of social entrepreneurs and the future of uh, the, the social entrepreneurs field. And uh, we really talking a lot about the lack of collaboration. Why we, as a social entrepreneurs, we are very focused in our organizations, in our methodology, in fundraising, in manage our teams. So we have very few time to collaborate. And nature is about collaboration. Uh, in our brain, we have over 150 trillion synapses. But how many synapses or collaborations we do among of our organizations? And we start to project a vision for uh, the evolution of the social entrepreneurs field, and we start to create a vision where we, we call synapses entrepreneurs. So uh, uh, the necessity to create a new movement and reinventing the ecosystem for social entrepreneurs. And after that meeting, uh, Bill invited me to co-create this movement, and I uh, moved from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, to Washington, D.C., uh, to working with Bill, and of course, continues working in CDI as a president and chair of the board, but working with Bill and Ashoka in this new movement, and the first step was uh, research with Ashoka fellows in all of the world. And for my surprise, what we realized in, through this research was 100% of the Ashoka Fellows with we interview felt themselves in isolation, alone and without peers to exchange about the most important things in their lives. So we started to design uh, peer exchange groups to create a way to connect social entrepreneurs in their cities. And it uh, was a really great experience, but after one month, I went to this Call World Forum for Social Entrepreneurs in Oxford, which is the most important event in the world for social entrepreneurs. And there we was uh, 81 Skoll awardees, among of the most successful social entrepreneurs in the world. And uh, when we bring this, uh, the result of this uh, research, uh, I was so impacted because 100% of these Skoll awardees felt themselves in the same way isolate uh, and without peers to, to exchange about the most important things in their life. So what we creating after that uh, 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 last year was the first alliance between Ashoka and Skoll Foundation, the leading organizations in the field of social entrepreneurs. And we start to co-create a new organization uh, to working as a professional association for social entrepreneurs. Uh, advocacy organization to influence, to changing the ecosystem and, and redesign the ecosystem for social entrepreneurs, and uh, a kind of YPO -er or EO -er for social entrepreneurs, which is uh, uh, these peer exchange groups. And after that, we, uh, uh, we start to negotiate with Schwab Foundation, the third uh, uh, biggest organization to support social entrepreneurs. And Schwab Foundation decided to join this alliance. And we start to build in this coalition, Ashoka, Skoll, and Schwab Foundation, working to support uh, the field of social entrepreneurs. And we create Tendril. So Tendril is a Tibetan uh, word for interconnectivity or interdependence. 
And we start last year the first forum or the first peer exchange group for social entrepreneurs and social business entrepreneurs in uh, Boston, Massachusetts, and then uh, in Mexico City, another one, and then in Rio de Janeiro. Uh, and we, we start up uh, Tendro as a, a new uh, not-for-profit organization in the United States in San Francisco three months ago. Uh, and uh, uh, we start to building this new ecosystem, which is starting with, uh, with peer exchange groups, and then we are starting chapters in the cities, and then networking to create collaboration and uh, synapses across cities and across countries. And today, after three months uh, uh, running Tendro, we have forums for social entrepreneurs and social business entrepreneurs in Boston, in San Francisco, in Mexico City, in Chiapas, Rio, Sao Paulo, uh, London, Johannesburg, Cape Town. Um, we uh, are starting in Mumbai, uh, India, uh, in New York, in Washington, D.C. So in Rio de Janeiro, we have our Tendro champion with Tomas, this amazing guy who are leading Tendro in Rio de Janeiro. And yesterday, I had a great pleasure to uh, starting uh, our Tendril Forum in Paris, France. So we have over uh, more than 100 leading social entrepreneurs and social business entrepreneurs being part of this coalition. And now we have not only Ashoka, Schwab, uh, and Skoll, but also B-Lab, IDU.org, uh, uh, and Draper Richard being part of this uh, historical coalition to redesign the ecosystem for social entrepreneurs. And not only give support, personal support for these uh, social entrepreneurs, uh, uh, because this is necessary. Last October, one of the most successful social entrepreneurs in Middle East uh, uh, decided to commit suicide for the pressure uh, of the field, fundraising, management. But uh, in Tendro, our idea is not only uh, strengthening and support the life of social entrepreneurs, these heroes who are changing uh, the reality in our cities, but also stimulate these social entrepreneurs and social business entrepreneurs start to reflect about how they can do having greater impact and start to thinking in more system changing way. So we are really very happy to start this historical coalition uh, because the most important challenges for humanity need deep levels of collaborations to solve. And Tendro, as a, a professional association for social entrepreneurs, have these goals to creating and inspiring uh, social entrepreneurs and social business entrepreneurs, create alliance, synapses, collaborations to change our society. So we are very happy to working uh, in this new uh, initiative and I invite all of you to learn more about Tendro in our website, tendro.org. So thank you very much and I uh, wish for you a wonderful day and wonderful week uh, in uh, We Share Festival. Thank you.